Pressure is mounting on President Yahya Jammeh to step down, but the leader remains adamant. By Friday, a three-nation delegation to Banjul, led by Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari, had failed to convince him to step down. Jame has made clear he will not stand aside. He wants the country's Supreme Court to first decide on his legal challenge, seeking to annul the results of last month's polls. The West African leader also met with President-elect Adama Baro over the impasse and negotiations are reportedly ongoing. ECOWAS is still in the process. They have met both sides. They have listed because negotiation is looking at the divergent positions and you try to narrow it down. We are waiting for more efforts to be able to narrow down the difference. Barrow is reported to have flown out of Banjul alongside the ECOWAS leaders headed for Mali where regional powers will engage on the way forward. While ECOWAS has repeatedly voiced its commitment to seeking a peaceful solution to the impasse, it has also hinted at possible military action if Jameh stays on beyond the end of his term next week. They plan to leave no doubt about the determination of ECOWAS to use all necessary means, including force, to have the will of the Gambian people upheld. Should this be deemed necessary, ECOWAS intends to seek the endorsement of the Africa Union Peace and Security Council and the formal approval of this council to deploy troops to the Gambia. There are just five days left for Jamie's five-year term. He has warned the international community against external interference. Meanwhile, the African Union has declared it will no longer recognize President Jame as head of state on January the 19th, regardless of the Supreme Court case. Susan Mungeli, CGTN.